Hey everybody, welcome back to Make It with Mod Podge. Thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Kathy Fillion and on today's video, I'm sharing seven different tips or ideas for making these really cute holiday villages. Now these are super popular this year, um, but for me and my family, these have been popular since I was a little kid because my mom made something similar to this way back in the day. So um, today I've got a whole bunch of different ideas. Let's just dive right in. First, I wanna talk about the little house shapes. So I was lucky enough to score these on the clearance section. Um, I got them for like a couple bucks each. They did need to have a paint over. This is one of my favorite things to do is find something at the clearance bin or at the dollar store and just paint over it because it's a great surface, right? Uh, to paint over it, you can use either Folk Art Home Decor Chalk or one of our multi-surface paints. Um, either one will work uh, just as well. The chalk, um, maybe it's like a tiny bit better because it really acts more as a primer. Um, but anyway, so I painted over these letter blocks. So I wanna show you how you can apply napkins, fabric, and paper first. And then we're gonna talk about my favorite formula for, favorite, for fake snow, which is a combination of glitter and um, bath salts. <laughs> and we're gonna be doing some other glittering and we're gonna be exploring the Mod Podge Mega Glitter. So let's dive right in. I'm going to start with our uh, the first tip, which is your papers and your selection. So for our designs here, uh, the first thing you wanna do if you're making a village is pick a color theme. We've got blacks, golds, silvers, a little bit more of kind of an upscale farmhouse. And once you have a theme picked, you're just gonna wanna collect a bunch of papers and fabrics or napkins that are in your theme. I've got different sizes of prints here, some plaids, I've got tree bark, all different kinds of papers and fabrics. Once you have that all picked out, you'll be ready to start creating your little village. So for our fabric house, this is what our fabric house looks like finished. It doesn't have any more whistles and bells on it yet. I just wanted to show you how you get that fabric down. So we're gonna use the satin Mod Podge for that. You could use matte or gloss also. And I've gone ahead and just cut a piece of my fabric to size, just to fit right on the top of that house there. So for this one, we'll go in and we're just gonna add the Mod Podge right onto the wood block. Just go ahead and add it right onto there. We do have a fabric formula of Mod Podge, but um, since this isn't a fabric to fabric project, you really don't need to use that. Okay, go ahead and get a nice coat on there. Then you're just gonna line up your fabric, just like so, and go ahead and press down. And if any of the uh, Mod Podge is coming through, it's fine, it's gonna dry perfectly clear, just like that. And you're gonna set that aside and let it dry. Now normally I would let that dry for like 20 minutes or so, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you that what you can do is then just go ahead and top coat. So if you want a glossy finish, use glossy. If you want it real matte, use matte. I kind of wanted the in-between, so I'm using satin. So you would just go ahead and add a top coat. It looks milky, but when it's dry, it's gonna dry perfectly clear, just like that. Nice finish, and it'll just really finish it off. Okay, that's how quickly you can get fabric down. Now, the next tip I wanna share with you is how you do napkins. So for the napkins, here's my little napkin house. And that is super simple to do. You will just take your block like we have, and I painted over that. You can kind of see our letter going through there a little bit. Go ahead and add your Mod Podge directly onto the block. And again, you know, just if you wanted to do these for a different holiday, just find these papers and these napkins and fabrics in that theme. Now, I only have one ply of the napkin, so that means it's just the printed ply. We're gonna go ahead and position that right onto the block. And then from the center, smooth out, working your way to the edges, just like so. And on the napkin, I really do like to wait to top coat. So just go ahead and push it down like that. 
really gently. I'm barely applying any pressure at all, just like so. Then what you can do is go in, you could have a couple of options for, seal, for uh, finishing off that edge. You can bring a small nail file in there if you want, or you can just go in and lightly dampen it and start to tear it away, just a gentle tear like that. Now, I can't really see what I'm doing because I am upside down, but hopefully that is looking good for you. I think I got a little misstep there. There we go. Turn it around. It'll help if I can see what I'm doing right. <laughs> so you just go in and that's how you can create that edge, just like so. Sorry guys, that's a little bit sloppy looking. I should have had that facing me to begin with, but you'll just go ahead and go around it and clean up all your edges, or you can cut them off or use an X-Acto knife, or you can use a nail file or a little sandpaper and it'll just sand right away. And that's how quickly you can get a napkin down onto one of these houses. I'm gonna go ahead and fill these houses in back here. Then we also have a paper design I wanna show you. So here is our design for the paper house. And on this one, we just have this beautiful paper. I love that paper. Again, went ahead and cut that to size. And to get the paper down, it's just as quick. Go ahead and add our satin Mod Podge to the top of our brick house. Now these houses, if you aren't so lucky to find them in the clearance bin like I did, I have found them in the Target bins. They're at every craft store in the unfinished wood section. You can use bird houses for this. You can use any kind of little house shape. You can even cut your own from scrap wood. Either way, go ahead and press that down. So now that is into position and just covering our wood house shape there. Again, for top coating, just like the fabric, I like to wait about 20 minutes normally, but I'm gonna go ahead and just show you what top coating looks like. Just go in and once again, very nice long brush strokes. I like to use bristle brush on this. This is a one inch brush, which is my go-to brush for Mod Podging. Okay, smooth brush strokes. Looking so pretty. Then you just set that aside and let it dry. So I'm gonna move that over to there. All right, let's move on quickly, quickly. I've got so many things I wanna show you. Uh, another tip is adding 3D elements to your design. So you see here, I've got this glitter deer here. It just adds that extra pop. Um, I've got some snowflakes and our fake snow. I'm gonna show you about the fake snow in just a second. Oops, sorry guys, my glitter is flying all over the place. All right, why don't we take a peek at these cute houses while I get my glitter. Okay, so I've got just some gold extra fine glitter and I have this really cute deer shape, okay? So let's see if we maybe we would put it on this house, so we'll go that direction. So for this, you just wanna go ahead and add a coat. You can use any of the Mod Podge formulas, just a thin coat right onto the deer. And you can go kind of get in there if you want, sort of wiggle it around. And you can do this to almost anything. These little wood pieces are usually about a dollar and they come plain so this is just a really simple way to change it up. You could paint it also, but for the holidays, I thought the glitter would be super cute. Now we're just gonna go ahead and sprinkle our glitter right on top, just like so. And tap off our excess. Now Mod Podge is a glue and a sealer. So we can go ahead and use our Mod Podge to glue down our embellishments as well. So we've got our glitter tucked away. Uh, and to do that, let's say we're gonna put it onto this house here. Normally I would wait for my little deer to dry, but I think I can do it. I think I got it today. So you just wanna go in and add a bunch of Mod Podge to the back of your wood shape, just like so and then you'll just place it right into position, just like that, kind of press down. Now you're gonna leave that alone. This you've gotta let sit 
you know, upright like this and let it dry for a good couple of hours. And then you'll just have your embellishments down. You don't need to plug in a hot glue gun or anything like that. Mod Podge is a glue and a sealer. So you can use it to glue so many of your projects and you can use it to seal your papers down as well. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about glittering. If you can see here on this one, I've got a glittered edge and that's super easy to do. So let me go ahead and just pick one of our houses here. We've got this music note one. And to do that, it's super easy. I like to do the glittering of the edges um, after I have Mod Podge the fronts down. That's just a personal choice because I feel like you can go right up to that edge. Just go like that. You're gonna add your Mod Podge just to the edge. I'm not gonna go all the way around it. I'm just gonna show you quickly how you do this. So smooth those out because you don't want clumpy glitter. And then just sprinkle right onto the edges, just like so. Now, if you wanted to, look at that sparkle, so pretty. If you wanted to seal this glitter, you could totally seal it because glitter is kind of like, right, it's probably all over my face at this point. It's all over the house. So once this is dry, you can go in and top coat this with a little bit of Mod Podge. For top coating over glitter, I like to use gloss because it keeps that extra shine going. So tap off all that extra, let that dry about 30 minutes, then you can give it a top coat with the gloss Mod Podge. So simple, just to add a little bit of sparkle to your project. All right, let's move on to some more tips. I wanna show you how you can Mod Podge and glitter at the same time using the Mod Podge Mega Glitter. So Mega Glitter comes in gold, silver, and Aurora Borealis, um, and, or I think it's called Hologram, technically, on the, on the package. So for that, let's see, which one should we give? Let's use this one. So we've got our wood house here, and if we want to give it a nice, this is what it's gonna look like when it's dry, a beautiful edging of Mega Glitter. So Mega Glitter has large glitter flakes and small glitter flakes in it. And it's gonna look kind of milky when I apply it, but once it's dry, it's beautiful shimmer. So you can apply it two different ways. You can do a chunky kind of tap, tap, tap style where you're gonna get it really thick just like so, and that's gonna dry just like loaded with sparkle. I also like doing it a different way where I smooth it out. I have my glasses on guys, so hopefully I can see what I'm doing. Go ahead and just brush it on like that. And when you brush it on like that, when it's dry, it's going to end up like this. It's just got a lot of beautiful shimmer to it. And you can really see those little tiny flecks that create the base coat of glitter, and then those chunkier ones that add that pop to the top. It's so nice. So you can do this a ton of different ways. You can do the edges, you can do it directly over the paper. So I've got the edging there, and I wanna show you what that looks like if you do it over paper. So on this sample here, I've got plain paper, it didn't have any sparkle in it, but I wanted to add a little bit of sparkle to it. So for that, you just take a brush with some of the Mega Glitter, not too much, and go ahead and add that right onto your design. You can do it, if you want, you could do it heavier at the bottom and go lighter all the way up, or you can just do it really light all the way around. And it just, almost like you have a glitter printed paper or something. Just a really fun way that you can add extra glitter and just a little bit extra design to any of your projects. So we are doing these houses today, but these work on all your holiday different designs. There's so many different things you can make. Okay, couple more tips I wanna share with you. One of them is when you're doing these villages, you're gonna want some lift, some lift. So what I mean by that is you can take these little houses and these are wood candlestick pieces. So you can glue them to those wood candlestick pieces. I've got that one here. Let's just pull them all over so you can see them. That one. And then I did a double duty on this one. So that's two candlestick pieces that I glued together. And then we've got one more little one over here. So these are all a different combination of paints. For this one here, I, I painted it first with the um, multi-surface apple barrel paint. 
for our gold one, the gold one, I actually painted it with some yellow multi-surface paint first, and then I added treasure gold on top of it. And for our black ones, I just used the black folk art paint. Now all of them, I did a little dry brushing with the treasure gold. So let's take a look at what that dry brushing looks like. I just wanted to add, again, I was kind of going for like a farmhouse, but a little bit more chic. So just adding a little bit of that gold over the black for that. All right, I think we're on to our last tip, which is my favorite, which is the snow. I grew up in snow, so I always like to have a little bit of snow on my holiday designs. All right, so for the snow, I've got it in a couple different places. You can see here, I've got just a little bit along the bottom of one. And up here, I've got it on the roof and then coming down a little bit. And then we've got one more snow house over here where I have just a small lip of snow and then the roof. So I'm gonna show you how to do that one. So for my snow, what I like to use is Epsom salt. So like bath salts, you can get it at the grocery store. And I just have an old tub like this and I've got my salt in there. And then this is like snow confetti or iridescent confetti and it's the big chunky flake style. So I like to add a little bit of that to my snow, or not to my snow, <laughs> to my salt, <laughs> and then just mix that up. And that's what gives you that sort of like little bit of flaky stuff. So the salt gives you the base layer and then the um, confetti or, or the glitter, chunky glitter creates um, that sort of iridescent sparkly look like natural snow would give you. Okay, let's find something. Who, what can we put some snow on? Let's put snow on our little farmhouse here. So for that, it's the same deal. We're just gonna go in and we're gonna add our Mod Podge right onto the house roof, okay? And I'm using this old recycle tub, but you can use um, a paper plate or something or even a piece of wax paper or tin foil. You're gonna wanna, you're gonna tap into it so let's go ahead on this part. You can just go ahead and add, you know, a little rim right around it, just like so. And a little bit more right there. Wherever you put the Mod Podge is where you're gonna end up with snow. So then for this, I've got my edges done. I just go in and tap in like that. And then tap in. If you wanted to sprinkle it, you could do that too. If you wanted to sprinkle it, just grab it and sprinkle it and then tap off. Or you can go in and just kind of move it around and get that coating. Now this is just one coat here, which is pretty much enough that you need, but if you wanted to do a second one, you would want this to fully dry, otherwise you'll end up smearing it around. But that's how quickly you can create some really cute snow looks. Now if you wanted to do snow along the bottom, that's a really cute look too, just kind of pull up your Mod Podge, like a snow drift. And again, you can do these on any kind of little houses. You can recycle milk cartons to make houses like this, okay? So you can sprinkle it on, or you can tap it in however you want, just like that. Very, very simple. So remember, that's a little bit of Epsom salt, and then we added that really fun, flaky, iridescent glitter. You could add a chunky glitter too. Also, if you wanted to add a little bit of silver glitter, you know, it's really endless, but the iridescent really looks like that beautiful sparkly snow. All right, guys, well, there's my tips for making these villages. We've got glittering napkins, paper, fabric, it's endless. Just pick a color palette and find some of these shapes or cut your own and you can create a really cute mantle village. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll be back here next Thursday on Facebook with a new video and on Saturdays at YouTube. And at both places, we answer questions live during the premiere. Make sure you share, pin, hit that subscribe button, use the hashtags Mod Podge and Plaid Crafts, and we'll be back next week with another fun project. Thanks guys.